This is a Western Digital My Home Club with 4 terabytes of storage. And this little thing over here is more important than you think. Let's discuss about it. Now this, how I said, it's a 4 terabyte Western Digital hard drive or a NAS from Western Digital, which is WD. And the name is MyCloud. This one was released in 2021, that model is. And I can tell you right now that this thing is amazing. So the idea is you get 4 gigabytes that you can connect every, every device in your home and then you can access it and share your files, copy, paste, but you can do more stuff with it. But before we get there, let's talk about this little thing. This little thing is really easy to set up. You plug a Ethernet cable to it, then you just go on the MyCloud website, you make an account, you set it up, and that's it. Now, officially, you can only use this thing with two things, either the application for Android and iOS, or you can go on their website and then you can upload and download things from their website. But it also have SMB. The SMB, what it does, it literally add this little device in your computer as a hard drive so you can connect directly to it without needing to access the website. So SMB works with Windows, Mac OS and Linux. You can all use them. But because you have 4 gigabytes of storage, you can actually do more things with it. For example, I make a lot of recordings and my MacBook that I use to edit these recordings, it have a 256 gigabytes of storage. Now keeping all this footage there is going to be almost impossible. The storage will get full. So what I do, I save all of my footage on this thing and then simply just import them to Final Cut and they will work perfectly. Or you can import them to whatever video editing or photo editing you use. You just import them from there. The maximum speed that I managed to get is 100 megabytes per second. Not megabits, megabytes which is amazing. Now, it's not always constant. Sometimes it goes to 50, sometimes it goes to 60, but the maximum speed that I managed to get is 100 megabytes per second. Now, I record 4K, but I use my phone to record 4K, so I don't have like a proper camera and stuff like that. So with higher art cameras, I don't know how good it will work, but with a 4K from the phone, I can import my media and edit everything from there. But that's not all I can do with it. For example, on macOS, I can directly install application on the server and then run the application from there, which saves storage in my Mac OS. You can do the same thing with Windows and Linux applications, and including with games. You can play some of the games that are literally installed on WD. Now, let's discuss about the price, because I managed to pay only £50 for this on eBay. Now, on eBay right now, they go between 80 and 100 but I managed to get a really good one for £50. I found a seller that they really want to sell it, probably they want to get rid of it, they didn't use it, and they sell it for cheap. And I think it's a great value for money. You can do a lot of things with this thing. For example, if you want to watch movies, you can actually connect Plex with this thing. And then you'll run Plex from it without any problems, how you can see here. Now, it doesn't have any problem because there is no transcode in here. Now, the video that you're seeing is a direct play from Plex. It doesn't transcode nothing, it's just direct play. Now, using direct play is perfect because that means you don't need any power to transcode. But the moment you leave your house, you do have some problems transcoding if you want to watch it on your mobile phone, for example, using internet from your mobile phone. So I do recommend that if you do want this thing, buy it only to keep movies in the house, nothing more. You have a lot of other features, like for example, you can import all your medias from OneDrive or Google Drive. You can download them directly here, easy, just with just one click. The feature was perfectly, I tried it, but I canceled it because I don't want to transfer the things that I have from Google Photos. I'm happy with them staying there. And my most important things, they're actually here on the Synology one. Now, the reason is, why did I buy this one? It already have a Synology. Well, there's two one. First, the price. It's very cheap, WD, they're very cheap. And second, the hard drive install inside of it. The hard drive inside of it has four dead terabytes. And to be fair, the four terabytes is actually worth probably the price that I pay for it. Now, do I recommend this thing for other people that probably they don't need the storage and stuff like this? I completely recommend this thing. The only reason why I'll recommend it is that it's a perfect extension for your computer. You know, you can install applications or install games on it. Don't get me wrong, high-end games are not going to work properly, but they're still going to work pretty good. I mean, 100 megabytes per second, that's still a pretty fast speed. You don't get that one always, so don't get me wrong. And that one, keep in mind, it doesn't care what internet speed you have because what you're doing is local. So you're going to use the local speed, which is 100 megabytes per second with most of the internet providers. Now, this thing 
probably you're not going to use it. Probably you're not going to need it. This is what you think right now. But in reality, everyone needs more storage in their computer. Everyone needs more storage in their phones. And with this that you can connect from your computer and you can connect from your phone, it has application, how I said for Android and iOS, and you can connect it via your computer you get a lot of pluses. Now, there's also the small convenience, you know, you leave the house, you know, you're not going to be able to access it. Well, you can, because you can still access it from your mobile application, or you can still access it from the website. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can still access your files, download them or upload files anywhere in the world from the storage. Now, the only thing that you're losing is that you won't be able to access your application that you installed on this thing, or the game that you install on this thing when you go out of your house. From outside, you won't be able to access them. But from inside the house, you'll be able to access it perfectly. So yeah, this is my personal opinion and the review that I'm doing for a WD MyCloud 4TB. I do hope you guys really enjoy it. If you do like it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys next one.